It's 2024. Happy New Year. If you're contemplating putting your finances in order this year by becoming an investor in real estate, now's the time for you to act. And I've got some information for you to consider as it pertains to short-term rentals, more commonly known as Airbnbs or VRBOs. You'll find that in Michigan, we have Airbnbs and VRBOs available at all price ranges and all different types of properties. You can rent a yurt in Grass Lake, Michigan for $95 a night, or you can rent a 15 bedroom residence on Lake Michigan for $4,000 a night. If you're going to become a landlord, you need to understand your target audience. Is it going to be a tourist audience? Is it going to be a vacation audience? Is it going to be a winter sports audience? Is it going to be an urban audience? Is it going to be a suburban audience? What is that audience? And you need to understand what are the rates in the very specific areas that you think are most interesting to you? You need to investigate local regulations in the neighborhood or in the city that you're contemplating owning a property. There is a movement afoot in many neighborhoods to restrict owners' ability to have short-term rentals, including Airbnbs and VRBOs. You need to calculate your rate of return based on the considerations that also include vacancy. If there's seasonality to a market, you need to do your calculations based on the vacancy or what we call the occupancy rate, the flip side, so that you understand what's the likely return that you're gonna get out of this thing. Consider the amount of investment that you're going to need to make to a property in order to get it ready to have the best possible clientele. You're going to have to furnish the place, you're going to have to outfit it, and remember that the reviews that the tenants or the occupants are going to make are going to impact your ability to rent it the next time. Simple things like coffee pots, cups, plates, really nice towels, and great bedding make a significant difference in your tenants' desire to want to rebook. Don't lose sight of the fact that those things cost money. Consider your pricing strategy based on all of the rest of the parameters that we've talked about already. Make sure that you understand that one night that that property is not occupied is a night that's gone forever. If you overreach because you think it's a really sexy property and it stays vacant, that's gonna impact the total dollars that you're bringing in every month. Focus on the overall client experience. Be sure that your communications are really rapid, really robust, and that you're providing a lot of information to the prospective tenants prior to their arrival so that they know exactly what to expect, when to expect it. Make sure that you are exceeding their expectations with a really nice surprise. Something as simple as bottled water, really nice linens, a small note, anything that makes their experiences really, really superior is gonna set you apart from a lot of the other property owners out there. Make sure the heat is adjusted and make sure that they have your personal contact information so that if anything is amiss during their stay, they know how to contact you so that you can react promptly either as your own property manager or through the property manager who you're going to hire. If this is in your future for 2024, to invest in short-term rentals, contact us. We'd be glad to walk you through the pro process, take a deeper dive into what your thoughts are, and if you'd like to find a place somewhere in 2024, we'd love to be your partner in that.